Assemble. Hey everybody, so we have a story all about setting today. And this setting is very different than Minnesota. It's called The, the Desert, Desert is, is Their home. home. Here's my question. What do you picture when you hear the word desert? What might it be like to live there? The Sahara Desert is one of the largest desert of its kind in the world. It stretches for thousands of miles across the northern part of Africa. Its scenery includes huge sand dunes that shift with the wind, as well as tall mountains and flat plains. The Sahara is dry, and it's hot! Temperatures can soar above 110 degrees in the summer. Now, you might think that a place like this is lifeless, but it's not. There are oases in the Sierra, which um, palm trees grow and water flows from springs or bubbles up from wells. Animals such as gazelles and antelopes, foxes, hyenas, snakes, and lizards make the Sierra their home. Now, one group of people have lived in the Sierra for thousands of years. These are the people known as Bedouins. Oh. Oh, I guess that's a Bedouin next to a camel. Bedouins are nomads, or people who have moved around from place to place. Bedouins raise camels, goats, and sheep. They travel the desert to take their animals to spots where there's enough plants for them to graze. At one time, the Bedouins also helped hold caravans, caravans or a group of traveling traders through the Sahara. The traders paid the Bedou, Bedouins. the Bedouins, for the use of their camels and for protection while crossing the vast the desert. Yeah, the traders couldn't get across without the Bedouins' help. Now, even though the Bedouins have all or are always on the move, family ties are very important to them. Bedouin society is organized by these family connections. The smallest Bedouin group is made up of close family members, such as a husband, a wife, the children, the children's grandparents, and sometimes aunts and uncles. Larger Bedouin groups are made up of many members of their extended family. The largest Bedouin group of all is called a tribe. A tribe! Ooh. Bedouins have developed special strategies for living in the Sahara Desert. They wear loose, flowing robes that not only protect them from the sun, but also shield them from the wind and the blowing sand. They live in tents that are made of goat and camel hair, and the tents can just be picked up and moved whenever the herds travel to new grazing lands. Also, much of the Bedouins' food comes right from their own animals. So, lots of milk, yogurt, and cheese makes up the majority of the Bedouin diet. Flatbreads, dates, and rice are also everyday foods. Meat dishes are sometimes prepared for festivals or for visitors. Having visitors is a high point for Bedouin life. Bedouins are known for their hospitality. 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 When visitors stop at a Bedouin tent, they are, are offered tea, coffee, and food. They are often entertained with music, songs, and poetry. Children who normal shows it for chores. chores include gathering firewood or herding animals are upon to join the festivals. Yeah, so when the visitors come, everyone comes and they offer all their favorite things, right? Here's a picture of some of the Bedouin kids. Hey, wait a second. They look a lot like us, and they're even doing mandalas. Yeah. We do mandalas every Monday. Yeah. Today, the old way of life is disappearing for Bedouins. Grazing areas have grown smaller, and modern-day borders make it harder for the Bedouins to wander, right, from place to place. Many Bedouin families have gathered in settlements where they live in homes, and they raise their animals without moving around so much. Other Bedouins have moved to large cities where they earn a living, working at various jobs. Living in a home isn't very different from roaming freely through the desert, but it has some advantage. Bedouin children can get better health care and also can attend school when their families stay in one place. But whether they live in a home or a tent, 
Bedouins still think of themselves as the people of the desert, who are always ready to extend their hospitality to any visitor who comes to their harsh desert land. Hey, thanks everybody. I Good hope you enjoyed you. the story. Bye.